From WNY News, this is First Morning Weather. Well, welcome back. It was nice to see the sunshine earlier today, but since this afternoon, clouds have thickened up, and now we're tracking some rain and snow headed our way. Not seeing too much off the Crystal City Sky Cam uh, overlooking Market Street right now in Corning, but as we progress through the evening hours, some of the roads, especially in the higher terrain, may be a little bit slush covered as uh, we track that rain snow mix headed our way. In some of the higher elevations, we could actually see one to three inches of that slushy accumulation under an inch in the valleys. Winds could occasionally gust as high as 50 miles an hour over the next 24 hours or so, and then turning much colder here by the time we head into Sunday. I mentioned the wind gusts. We have a wind advisory in effect area wide through midnight tomorrow night going into early Sunday morning. Again, the strongest winds will be across the higher terrain where some of those gusts could approach 50 miles an hour and a winter weather advisory in effect for a couple more hours. This is until one o'clock early tomorrow morning for Potter and Tioga counties in the northern tier, in particular the higher terrain there uh, where there may be again some two, three inch amounts. We're tracking the storm system coming up out of the Midwest into the Great Lakes region. That's going to have a lot of moisture associated with it and some warmer temperatures as winds increase out of the south and east. But initially, atmosphere cool enough to support a rain snow mix. And again, the precipitation picking up just to our south and west, heading up into our direction. So the weather goes downhill as we push through the evening hours. Looks like the steadiest precipitation will be out of here shortly after midnight tonight. So we'll time it out with our future track now and by eight o'clock again looking at a mixture of rain and snow. But look how quickly our model shows it transitioning over to just plain rain as warmer temperatures win out. There could be some heavier pockets of rain as well around midnight. Then after that heaviest precipitation moves out, maybe a leftover rain or snow shower into tomorrow morning but the trends will be to kind of cool things down and dry it out as we progress through Saturday and snowfall amounts not looking very impressive here. Maybe an inch or two higher terrain Steuben County, Tioga County and Potter counties in the northern tier. Now our planner for tomorrow showing temperatures starting out in the 40s. 44 is our five degree guarantee, but through the afternoon we're back into the 30s. The winds will make it feel a lot colder. In fact, the wind gusts that we're forecasting uh, diminish a little bit through the overnight period, but then ramp right back up again tomorrow, generally out of the west for Saturday afternoon. Some of the wind gusts topping 30 or even 40 miles an hour, ushering in much colder temperatures. Take a look at this wind chill values by early Monday morning below zero across most of our region. So bitterly cold temperatures headed our way. Haven't seen temperatures that cold yet this season. 43 is what we forecast for our five degree guarantee. We hit 44, 34 for a low tonight with a mixture of rain and snow. A couple leftover rain and snow showers possible tomorrow, but partial sunshine as well. Only 27 for a high on Sunday, and we keep it quite cold through most of next week.